The Loop Throttle Saturate 2 Saturation Unit has now been emulated in plugin form by Brainworks. If you cut all the fluff and extra features of the plugin version, you're basically left with this. A single saturation unit with drive control, these two switches for THD control, and a mix dial. And frankly, this is what you probably will be using 99% of the time. The sound of Saturate 2 is lovely. Anything which needs a touch of saturation will benefit from this plugin. Gotta catch it before it passes on by. 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 And you can really crank up the drive if you turn up the input gain. Before it passes on by. Gotta catch it before it passes on by. Gotta catch it before it passes on by. These two switches are actually quite important since they will affect how the saturation sounds. On the left you switch between 6 decibels of cutoff boost on the low end, where you can set the cutoff frequency with this tiny dial. And on the right you do the same for high frequencies, also with an adjustable frequency. This EQ is set before the drive control. Here's the magic dial. It does, and I quote, warms up and opens the whole mix giving it a vivid analog feel. Which is pretty much marketing BS. It is, as far as I can judge, mostly a dynamics processor, which will enhance the attack of the audio and boosts a bit in the high frequencies. The second row has these two switches, which are makeup gain for both drive and that magic button. Setting one will adjust for any changes in volume caused by either drive or magic, and setting two will make it proportionally louder. I think setting one will be the most used. I do question the placement of the switches here. It wasn't very obvious to me these were linked to the dials above. And while I'm nagging, the alignment of these knobs is terrible, I think. Actually, the overall look of this plugin is somewhat messy to me. Lots of filler. The Saturate 2 has this density dial and this links overall input and output volume to each other to compensate for loudness changes. This is actually really helpful in mastering situations or anywhere else where you might want to work on loudness and use a limiter. Let me show you with this drum loop and Pro L2 for its nice display. So with the density dial down you see that a lot of peaks in these drums are being limited by Pro L2. When I turn up the density dial these peaks will hit the saturation more and more and with that will reduce thanks to the linked output and input volume. So the level will be the same, but the peaks have been reduced by quite a bit. This helps to let the mastering limiter do its job more easily, which results in better sounding limiting. Now you will reduce the peaks thanks to have driven the audio into saturation, so at a certain point you will start to hear it. It's up to you how far you want to go. Speaking about mastering, the Saturate 2 works in mono, stereo left right and mid side. And in stereo you can work either independently on each channel or have all controls linked. The mono maker and stereo width are also welcome on stereo tracks. You came this far in the video so congratulations. That means you want to subscribe. Do it, that way you will stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. This video is made possible by DistroKit, the best solution if you want to have your music on all streaming platforms in existence. Think of Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal and many, many more. 
you pay a yearly fee of which you can get 7% off of your first year with my link in the description of this video and all revenue you earn will be for you. Not to mention the handy promo tools you get, the easy revenue split options and more goodies. Ok, the Saturate 2 is a second harmonic saturation plugin. The big sinus line here at 1kHz is the original audio and the lines above are the harmonics. You see lines at 1kHz increments, classic case of second harmonics which is generally seen as more musical saturation. For fun's sake I put the Saturate 2 against another saturation unit Plugin Alliance has on offer, which is the Vertigo VSM3 which can actually do second and third order saturation. I could get both to sound pretty similar, but the loop throttle sounds more dynamic and ballsy and actually leaves some of the fret noises of the bass guitar more intact. The VSM3 has other benefits obviously like more band oriented saturation and the whole third harmonic section, so they both have a place in your plugin collection. Changing oversampling is not available in this plugin. Brainworks uses their own method of battling aliasing, which includes at least a form of filtering and I'd say it works properly for Saturate 2. Check this sweep. Bright lines are the sweep and its harmonics. You see it bounce off which is aliasing at the Nyquist frequency at half the frequency sample rate of this project here above and die out quickly. That's filtering. These darker purple aliasing artifacts are so low in level that it won't interfere with the audio. If you check if higher sample rates will reduce aliasing, well it does. But I couldn't hear a difference so I'd say job well done. Saturate 2 is a good sounding saturation plugin. Definitely will be in my mixing and even mastering projects from now. You want to combine this saturation with a thick and beefy compressor. The Nailed U17 is perfect for that. Find it in the plugin which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below.